further see how harmonics are represented in the workings of creation, consider the Fibonacci sequence, which was first shared with the Western world by Leonardo Fibonacci in 1202. This numerical sequence has been found to represent the spiraling growth pattern of many organic shapes, from seashells to entire galaxies, and so represents one of the most important mathematical algorithms ever discovered. If you are at all familiar with this sequence, you know that it starts from zero, moves forward by one, then continues by adding the previous two digits to arrive at the next in the sequence. So when we take our first two numbers, zero and one, and add them together, the sum is still one. From here, the sequence begins its journey. One plus one is two. Two plus one is three. Three plus two is five. Five plus three is eight and so on into infinity. Now, if we were to apply frequencies to this sequence, we would not get audible tones, as single-digit vibrations per second cannot be heard by the human ear. Instead, let's start the Fibonacci series with an audible sound wave. In this case, we will use the numeric value of a simple geometric shape, the triangle. With an angle sum total of 180, this is what a triangle sounds like. Now let's begin again, this time taking note of both the number and tone it represents. We start at 180, and of course 0 plus 180 gives us another 180. Next is 180 plus 180, 360, an octave above the first tone, and also the number representing the sum total of a circle or a square. And here is when things get really interesting. Add 360 to the 180 before it, and you get 540 the sum total of a pentagon, and also a perfect harmonic fifth of our first tone. Then 540 plus 360, and the total is 900, a septagon, and the major third required to build a geometrically perfect major chord once again. Moving one step higher, you get 1440, represented in geometry as a star tetrahedron, or the shape known in ancient Jewish texts as a merkaba and which provides another octave of our first tone. Amazingly, when you apply the Fibonacci sequence to vibration cycles, the first six digits will always represent a numerically perfect major chord, implying that harmony, in the most literal way possible, is what anchors every Fibonacci series. And once again, we must acknowledge that we are not dealing with an arbitrary, man-made system to reveal these harmonics. Rather, this is yet another example of nature, through number sequences, revealing the harmonic essence of life to mankind. To see how the Fibonacci sequence reveals a spiral, as well as a significant mathematical constant known as the golden ratio, we will need to think spatially. Let's start with a square, but rather than a single square with a volume of one, we will once again assign a sonic frequency to this shape. In this case, we will choose 144. Zero plus 144 is of course another 144. Then adding these two numbers together, we get 288, or a higher octave of the first tone. Moving on, 144 plus 288 reveals our mysterious 432. Then 288 plus 432 equals 720 or the sum total of a tetrahedron, before arriving at our sixth square and frequency of 1152, a higher octave of the first tone. As you can see, the combined length of any two previous squares informs how big the next square should be, which in turn dictates not only the arc of the unfolding Fibonacci spiral, but also the tones required to build another numerically perfect major chord. Lastly, to arrive at what is known as the golden ratio, which shows up repeatedly in nature, geometry, classic architecture, even the design of the human body, we simply divide one number in the sequence by the number preceding it. And though there are slight variations to be found early in its stages, the golden ratio, carried out to the nearest 100th, is 1.61. This turns out to be a cosmically significant number in our search for coincidence and synchronicity, for watch what happens when we square 1.61 carried out to the nearest thousandth. The answer? 2.592. The same exact number sequence as the precession of the equinox. 
To further explore the idea that ancient sky visitors were not only aware of Earth's signature wobble, but also the Fibonacci spiral and frequencies relation to geometry, we turn to one of the most famous Sumerian documents ever discovered. In what is known as the King's List, this clay document records the successive and seemingly impossible long reigns of various rulers of the region. Since cuneiform was the first written language, there is no way to cross-reference this list with any other historical document. But in the end, the names may be less important than the number of years the first three kings were said to have ruled. 28,800, 36,000, and 43,200 years. Do these numbers look familiar to you? They should, for they are all sequences found on the Factor 9 grid. But what's even more astounding is the fact that when played together as frequencies, they create the same major chord revealed by the Fibonacci sequence. Finding these perfect